welcome back to Man Cave. So today's episode of playing with AR lowers is going to be a really simple modification. This is the rear takedown pin on an AR lower. And some of you might know that it's held in with a little detent and a spring. The spring being here and the detent probably having gone in. Oh no, the detent's in the hole. Let me get that sucker out. Come here, you. So, this pin kept in. Let me get this to actually focus. That detent and this little coil spring right here. You can have a collapsible stock or a fixed stock. And a lot of the more modern collapsible stocks and even some of the more modern fixed ones that are more skeletonized have a plate that sits over this hole which is where the detent and the spring live. The problem is when you're taking a stock off and you take either uh, uh, the, the stock itself or the little cover plate that comes off and remove that, this little spring has a tendency to want to go flying. The best thing that we can do is we can tap this little hole right here and get that to focus and put a set screw in. The nearest uh, standard tap size is about a number four. And this is a number four bit, which we're not going to use. So hey, no drilling today. We are, however, going to tap this out. Now this hole is about 15 thousandths of an inch undersized. So we have to be really careful or we're going to snap this tap off right in there. In my last video, there was a still frame about uh, going half turn, backing off a quarter. This is more like go a quarter, back off a quarter, just to be on, just to be safe. So, also I'm going to definitely make sure I use some lubricant. I'm just going to use this M Pro 7. Um, it's a light oil. Again, it doesn't really matter what you use uh, for a steel tap going into a piece of aluminum. This is just 6061 grade aluminum. Yeah, I know they call it, you know, aerospace grade aluminum or you know aircraft grade aluminum. When you hear aerospace aluminum or aircraft grade aluminum, your bullshit detector should go off. Yes, there are lots of grades of aluminum. You have 6061, you have the 70, uh, the 7000 series, there's a 5000 series. Yes, they all have different mechanical and physical properties. But generally speaking, aluminum is aluminum. It's slightly alloyed differently, and the hardness is a little bit different. 7075, that's great. 6061 works fine too. Anyway, onto the show. So just get a little blurp of the oil. This is one of those situations where if a dab will do you, a, a blob will do you even better. Um, you don't really have to go light on that stuff. And then we'll just take our tap and we'll start it in nice and easy. Make sure it's relatively straight and square. I'll kind of show that. It kind of looks a little bit angled on the camera, but it is straight. And we'll just get it started. Nice and easy. And since this hole is undersized, it's going to start sooner than it normally would. And we don't have to, we don't have to tap it all the way through. We so we only need to go in about a sixteenth of an inch, maybe just a, you know, a hair more. All right. So now that we've got the tap started, we'll double check our alignment, make sure everything looks relatively square, and we'll just keep running in. All right. So we'll go in. All right, so I've got full engagement on the tap now. So I'm going to back it almost all the way out. And I'm going to grab a little brush. And I'm actually going to get some of those chips off. I want the chips to come out, get out of the way of the flutes of the tap. These flutes, these little uh, grooves that are cut into the tap, those are what? Those little grooves, right? Focus. Right there, where there is no actual thread cutting going on. Those are to help you get the chips out. You want to keep those clear, as clear as possible. So, And again, this wouldn't be as big a deal if we had the right size hole. But drilling this is a real pain if you don't have a mill. And then back in, and then out. Clear the chips. And back in. And then back out. 
and you're just going to do that probably about another full turn's worth. So okay, now we're back to cutting. So we'll go a quarter and out, then a quarter, and then out a quarter, another quarter. So we stopped about there. So another quarter, back out, back that out halfway. All right, you feel it cutting there, and then one quarter, one more quarter, and that is that. That should do it. And I'll just give it an extra quarter turn. Because I'm particular that way. Alright, so get this sucker out nice and easy. Make sure we don't gall up the threads or kill them. The nice thing about this mod and the last mod is if you make a mistake and you really screw up, you haven't ruined your lower. Yeah, you put some threads where you probably shouldn't have put them or you know, you got some schmutz in there, but and blow that sucker out. And then we'll do, you know what we'll do? We'll get the spring. And we'll use the little spring of a thing. Kind of shove those chips out, whatever's left in there. Get that. Slide that out there so we can get a grip on it. Grab it with our fingers. Pull it out. Now, the other thing that you have to do, and this is actually very important, is you have to cut the spring. Because you're going to have an extra sixteenth of an inch of material in that hole now, and that spring's not going to want to fit properly. This is the kind of spring what when you push it in, it wants to push back out. That's the kind of spring you call it. So, we'll kind of do a dry run here. I don't know, let's see. Let's get a rough idea here. So we got the spring sticking out about an extra, oh, 340 thousandths. Get that little sucker back out. Pull this out. And this is a sixteenth. So I'm going to trim roughly half of a sixteenth. I'm going to try to trim about a thirty-second of it off, and I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm just going to kind of look at the two, line them up, and cut about half. So that's half is going to be about two coils in one of these strings. And that, as they say, is that. So now, pop our detent or our uh, takedown spring back in there. tent back in like so put the spring in All right. and now I go and I search for an Allen wrench so I forgot to grab that but luckily a bunch of them all I need is an eighth so an eighth inch Allen wrench does the trick. Oh, fell out. These things happen. Get this back in here. Get, all right, so that's locked in as far as it's gonna want to go. That'll give us a little extra breathing room. All right, so we got that in there. This is captive. Now you're just gonna very gently using the Allen key. Rest the set screw which has a slight beveled end to it on the sp and I'll choke up on it and I'm just going to give her a shove. Nice and easy. Get that started. And it is a pain, I admit. Sometimes it helps if you rotate in the counterclockwise direction and you can feel the starting thread on whatever fastener you're using, in this case a set screw, it'll skip over the starting thread of the hole. And as soon as it skips, you stop and then you go back clockwise and it'll grab and go. And there we are. That's it. I just like to put that in nice and flush. It's not something you want to crank down on. All you're trying to do is hold the, 
the, uh, the pin in place. And that's it. Throw a little bit of oil on the on the little cutout here of the rear takedown pin. And get a little bit in the detent hole. And I might need to adjust this spring a bit. But I have found taking about a 30 second up off is pretty much all you need. Or your takedown detent spring for your takedown pin, your rear takedown pin. It's set. Nice and easy. You know. No fuss, no muss. It just needs a little bit of break in time. Which these things do. Because these things are never finished properly. And that's it. There you go. Nice, quick, and easy, dirty little way to keep your spring from flying out. And again, all I used was a 440 tap, um, you know, a little brush just to clean off the chips, uh, a 1 16th inch 440 set screw, in this case was stainless, uh, it doesn't matter what it's made out of, titanium if you really want to find one and spend the money on it. And that's that.